Today's video is sponsored by ChosenBeats.club. Hi everybody, it's your Everyday Sean B. Well, if I don't know shit about a camera, you won't know shit about a camera at the end of this video either. So today we're gonna talk about a lot of shit I don't know about a camera. Let's get into it. Hey, what's going on everybody? <laughs> okay, wait. All right, so before we go any further, I do wanna preface this, right? So for those who've never seen my YouTubers I don't like video, this is just a segment where I just kinda of poke fun at a YouTuber, it's not like good fun. It's never really like seriously bashing them or talking about how they look or anything like that. It's really all in good fun, so have fun with this video. That's number one. Number two, I will be changing YouTubers I don't like to Y-I-D-L, which is short for Yiddle. But uh, enough of that. Let's get into everyday dad. Hey everybody, back at it. You know, and here, here's the thing, everyday dad. I am not making this video to really just completely just make fun of you. Oh, wait, kinda I am though, I just lied. See, first lie already. But the thing is this, I'm not gonna sit there and say your video's not entertaining because I can never get tired of who, 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 who. As much fun as I have doing that, this is probably the last time you see it doing a video. Up oh, again, second lot. But let's talk about my issue with your channel. Now, one thing that I've noticed is that you do well is capture your audience. You, the first thing you always do, you preface the video and you always say, I'm not a photographer, nor am I a professional videographer. So we'll only be covering the specs and features that matter to the online content creator. Woo! And when you first started, I was rocking with that. I said, hey, here's somebody who knows their lane and not trying to play anything else above that. I respect it. But then the, the views start kind of come in and, and then things start to change a little bit. See, this is where you start to mess up. Exhibit A, you made a video and then, it, then this blew me. It's stuff, it's stuff previous to that that I'm gonna talk about, but like this is just like, this is my, this is what poked the bear. Number one, you just bought the Panasonic S1H. Sorry, your wife just bought it for your Christmas gift December 25th, okay? You did an unboxing video to that like two weeks after that, I think. And then two weeks after that, two weeks, you drop another video that says Panasonic S1H three month review. What? Now I know you're gonna say like, well I changed it, I cleaned it up, I meant to say three week review. See, that's where you're lying. Because I know for a fact you put three month review on purpose because you wanted the views. And it's okay, you know what I'm saying? Just be a man about it, G. Like just. It is what it is. You want the views, I get it. This is a business. I ain't trying to take no money in your pocket. Do you. But at the same token, though, don't lie, like, don't blatantly lie to me, dog. Like, if I'm coming to your channel and I was seriously, genuinely interested in the S1H, and you sit there and tell me that you've done a three month review on it, I'm expecting an actual review on it. You pretty much just went back over the things that you talked about in your unboxing impressions. It's like, well, dog, that's not really, it's not really helping me. You know what I'm saying? To me, that's really putting some little distrust in your subs because it's like, hey, you know what I'm saying? I go to Everyday Dad because of this reason. Um, he, he makes sure he's very thorough in his reviews. I go to him and I buy my equipment based off his reviews. If that's the case, there are a lot of cameras that people have bought based off your reviews that I feel like didn't get a real review from you, just being real. That kind of leads me not to trust your channel anymore. Now granted, you did change and you did do a cleanup on it, but to me that was just more so PR, not like a real heartfelt thing, because if nobody would have said anything, I guarantee you, you would have kept three months up there. I, it's just a fact, it's just, I know that. Number two, the number two pet peeve about your channel to me is this. I'm sorry, wait a minute. Who, who, is that when you actually review the camera, you're not reviewing the camera. None of your reviews ever talk about highlight clipping, shadow clipping, how's the audio, how's the, you know, I think you talk about the battery life every now and then, like what's the absolute ISO range you can push this to, what quality does this look best at. Prime example, on the Panasonic S1H, I didn't even hear you go over dual native ISO like that, and that's like a prime selling factor of that camera that has dual native ISO, and you didn't go over that like not one time. You see what I'm saying? Like, you're not doing camera reviews. If you stick to what you know, maybe stick to like the little Canon G7Xs or maybe Lumix G7, even stick to like the smaller mirrorless bodies. But the big boys, like, nah, man, that's not your lane. And as, when you know your lane, you're better off for it. You know what I mean? Like, I know my lane. I don't try to make videos like any other YouTuber because that's not my lane. I do me. Do you. If You know what I'm saying? It's, it's better than you sitting here making re camera reviews on cameras that you have no idea about. After a while, like, the more and more I watch your videos, I'm like, yo, he, 
doesn't know what he's talking about with this camera. You know what I mean? And then on top of that, before we even get to number three, on top of that, you rant, rant it and rave about how the GH5 is just like the perfect go-to camera. You don't need anything else. It's small and it's compact. It does everything that you need. And then I get it. If my by me S1H, I'm gonna say, like, fuck that GH5 too. I'm with you. But at the same token now, dog, like at least stand on your ground a little bit. Now you might, like, well, I still rep the GH5, I get it, but it's just like you didn't make that video like not too long after that. And then next thing you know, we're talking about how the S1H is just like leaps and bounds better. And like realistically, yeah, the S1H is leaps and bounds better, but like it depends on who's using the camera. And honestly, you didn't go over even when you did the GH5 versus the S1H, you didn't go over anything other than basic stuff you can find but just touching the camera. When you do a review, understand that you're deep diving into a product because the, the, the consumer hasn't doesn't have this camera. So they were they are expecting you to go and do things on the camera that they cannot do currently. And you never do that. But before we get more into that, I want to go ahead and thank today's video sponsor, the Chosen Club. If you like the background music, if you want background music for your YouTube channel, you want to support another YouTuber, check out Chosen Club. It's done by my boy Tana So Lit. He's, you know what I'm saying, my man's a Grammy Award winning producer and he makes some fire beats that you can use for your video at a very affordable price. I made sure I put the link in the description down below. Check it out. Now, moving forward, number three. Let's just, let's just go ahead and be real, bro. I see a lot of your Twitter comments, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I don't really follow you no on Twitter like that, but still, I used to see a lot of them. And the cameras you used to talk about, like, you know, Canon C200s and Canon C500s and Sony FX9s, for someone who don't know shit about a camera, why do you need that? You're sitting at a table with a really big ass background that never moves, the static, it's just one solid color. Why do you need that? And it contradicts what you say. So if you're telling me, if you're telling me that you're you just, you know, somebody who make home movies and YouTube content, why are you looking at cinema cameras and a like super powerful cameras to just use them to film videos like this, talking head videos? For that, you can use your goddamn phone. Who? It's not like with this, you can even get a, a real good shallow depth of feel in your videos because like they all pretty much are the same. So why do you need camera bodies of that magnitude for? For somebody who don't know shit about a camera, I just, I don't understand that. Now I know what you're saying, like, I'm an adult, uh, I can purchase whatever camera I want with my money, because you said this to me before, right? you know what I'm saying? Whatever, that was like a, that was like a cop out, but whatever. But at the same token too, understand that you are an influencer. And when you kind of sit there and like backtrack and do shady shit like that, it kind of just make you look a little bit more untrustworthy than anything. Why would I sit there and listen to a guy who just say he makes his home movies and YouTube content, but then I look up, I see him trying to get Goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Filmmaking cameras and don't know nothing about the filmmaking cameras, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, why? And then that also leads into, again, what you're not knowing shit about the cameras. When you even do color grades of the footage, you're not doing color grades. Most of you YouTubers, I'm not, cause I'm not even gonna just put you in there. Most of you YouTubers just slap a LUT on something, play with the curves and think you're done. None of you guys are really actually sitting there color grading from like raw. Most of y'all don't know how to do that. So, you guys start talking about codecs and bit rates and color grade and all that. I completely ignore you because a, a good a good chunk of you YouTubers don't know shit you're talking about. Like, don't know what you're talking about. So I'm not just gonna sit there and just put that on you, everyday dad. But again, this is about you. Even when you went over to the Panasonic S1H and you were like, yeah, it's just so easy to grade. How hard is it to slap a LUT on something and just to adjust the shadows and highlights? Like, huh. So, but now that we got all the negative stuff out of the way, let's actually go over the positives of what you do doing your channel. Number one, like I said in the beginning, you're honest, right? For the most part. But you're honest by telling people like, this is what you do, you know what I'm saying, you stick in your lane. And I do, I really do respect that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because most YouTubers, again, try to get in the lane that they're not in. Again, I can't really give you the positive for that because you you step out of your lane too. All right, let's move on to something else. Number two, you're just a good guy, you know what I mean? Like, for the most part, you don't kind of come off asshole-ish up. Again, you did. You know, um, I try to use it in these videos off with some positive about the channel, you know what I mean? I mean, besides the fact, his growth. Got it, there we go. Your work ethic is impeccable, my guy. Like you, like the, the rate that you've grew, grown your channel from the time that you've been doing it is absolutely crazy. Congratulations on hitting your 100K. You definitely deserve it for your, you know, if anything else, you deserve it just for the hard work alone. I, I would definitely say that you put in the work and you make sure that you continue to pump out content for your viewers and it's dope. You have a pretty cool community that respects you and they love you for what you do. This is me just giving my opinion on this from like kind of the outside looking in. Someone who's not in your community, someone who doesn't kind of like, you know, have a have a biased opinion on anything that I'm saying right now. This is just me just saying like, hey, if somebody else is come look at your channel and actually look at it who actually knows something about cameras, they'll be highly disappointed in your reviews. So, with that being said, all love everyday dad, you know what I'm saying? Continue to keep pushing your grind, man. I hope to see you at 200,000 this year. I have fun. Next week's YIDL YouTubers I don't like, technically T, when his camera switching ass. Yeah, you thought I forgot about you.